okay now i'll start how to make that control uh, how to make that psi uh, rq0 using some proper control technique now i am telling you this is this equation how you can for this equations you can <coughs> uh, refer any uh, standard book i will prefer bimal kumar bosch he was my teacher in this field and uh, uh, this Muhammad Hamid Rash Rashid or R. Krishnan. These are the very standard book and uh, those people are pioneer in uh, vector control technique um, not only in India but uh, all over the world. Okay, so these uh, these are the very standard equation. So say uh, the inductance the inductance of stator side and rotor side i have explained this is this is called your um, total inductance which is this is the leakage part and this is the mutual part so as i told vsd means the voltage of, of stator direct axis and how it is coming that i will take separately it is a pure mathematics nothing else and this is your stator resistance so this is your uh, state uh, stator d axis flux flux and this is your synchronous speed and this is your um, stator quadrature axis similarly this is your uh, quadrature ax uh, quadrature axis stator quadrature axis voltage equation this is rotor direct axis voltage equation this is rotor quadrature axis voltage equation and uh, this this is your flux equation of the um, stator side and uh, and uh, this is the direct axis uh, direct axis flux of the uh, rotor and this is your quadrature axis flux of the rotor now so far in the previous lecture what we, we learned that we have to make that psi rq zero so similarly i made this psi rq as zero here one thing is to be always remembered that the, that the rotor side there is no meta measurement so i have to eliminate all the rotor component so from this equation i am just finding out the value of irq so it is nothing but this now if you go to if you go to the um, the quadrature axis voltage equation of the rotor quadrature axis voltage equation of the rotor so rotor are short circuited so this voltage is zero and for vector control i am making this is also as a zero so this term will so this term will vanish only this term and this term will be remaining so you see from there that equation it is coming now this is your uh, uh rotor direct axis flux i am considering it as that mutual into the magnetizing current that I, I have written as imr so now if you write in place of psi rd lmr into im uh, sorry lm into imr then this part it will go another side so it is minus so it will become minus rr irq but the value of irq is basically this one so these things I have replaced and I am getting the Omega SL means Omega slip basically synchronous minus synchronous minus actual speed so this is the Omega slip that is is equal to here on term it will come uh, LR by RR so LR by RR is nothing but uh, time constant l by r basically it's a time constant so uh, this uh, so this is 1 by tr and this isq by imr this is the equation now as i told if you see that rotor uh, direct axis flux equation 
so this is the rotor uh, direct axis flux equation so that part again in place of psi rd i can write this lm into imr and remaining part is as it is so from here i am replacing ird means rotor direct axis current so this is nothing but this now if you see the uh, rotor uh, direct axis voltage equation so basically this will convert like this this is convert like this or let us see in that equation so this is also short circuited rotor bars are short circuited so this is zero and this higher q zero so this entire part vanish so only this part is this part is remaining and in place of psi rd i am putting lm into imr so that only i have written here that only I have written here now in place of IRD because this IRD I have uh, equated as this so I am replacing that and both side this LM and LM is getting cancelled out and the finally the differential equation again I am putting this is um, uh, LR by RR as a, a TR is the rotor time constant <coughs> so the entire equation differential equation is coming like this now one interesting thing at steady state there is no change of magnetizing current so if there is no change of magnetizing current this part is zero so your imr is becoming equal to isd so at steady state the magnetizing current the magnetizing current is nothing but the stator direct axis current so now if you see that previous this equation omega slip equation this was isq by imr so at steady state i can write that omega sl is equal to inverse rotor time constant into isq by isd because at steady state this is nothing but the magnetizing current this all about the things we have to do to implement and implement a vector control now so basically uh, we, we will go for um, uh, indirect vector control it is a censored vector control so this is the rpm feedback we are taking and the three current three phase current we are also taking as a feedback so this is one uh, simple one mathematic trigonometric equations which will convert this instantaneous ia ib ic to d and q so this is your isd and isq this theta also it is needed but where this theta is coming that i will tell later so this this block this is a, uh, a sets of equation nothing but a sets of equation i am not explaining this right now which is converting the instantaneous stator current to direct and quadrature axis component now for setting the flux i am basically setting the uh, direct axis current stator direct axis current so it is compared with this block then this is a regulator it's a pi regulator which is generating the stator direct axis voltage now this is my rpm set rpm at what rpm i want to rotate the machine and this x this is coming from a shaft in incremental encoder if you see so this is coming this is your x this is the x so that value is compared here and this is one speed regulator this is generating the this is the torque reference or isq reference now this isq this isq this isq is compared with actual isq which is coming from here which is coming from here and this is one again one current regulator which is generating the quadrature axis voltage okay now now the thing is required theta how the theta is coming so now i'll go to the next slide you you um, just remember i have mentioned this is as a z which is my uh, isd and this is my isq 
generated isq as a, what i told as a torque reference now you recall your omega slip basically omega slip that omega s minus omega r it was basically inverse rotor time constant into isq by isd so now you see uh, this is my isd and this is my uh, this is my isd and this is my isq so what i have done first i divided that isq by isd then i have multiplied with inverse rotor time constant which is generating omega s minus omega r now this rpm is coming from the encoder that i am multiplying by pi by 30 to convert into omega and it is a entire things are stator side so i am multiplying pole by 2 so basically we are getting omega r now this omega s minus omega r if it is added with omega r then omega r omega r cancelled here only it is coming omega s that if you integrate you are getting theta that theta is required that theta is required here this theta is coming from that slide okay now we already generated we already generated this vsd and vsq again i am using one converter means one translation which is nothing but dq to abc here the vsd and vsq is coming and the theta also now known i am converting va vv vc this is the reference for pwm generation so you see this is a pwm block so here that va vv vc coming and these are the inverting and non-inverting sets of pwm which is giving to the inverter so this is all about the vector control now uh, the further the further thing is uh, i am uh, the, how to make the coding this first first is the concept then is uh, how to make it how to implement it, it practically so a group of students pre presently they are working for three level inverter why three level because in medium voltage application this igvt switches this igvt switches cannot take that much power so that's why that uh, power is shared using two switches so in three level instead of uh, two switches in uh, per phase uh, it is four switches per phase so the total voltage is shared by two switches so that thing is going on and later on if the time permits i am planning to call uh, some interested people and i want to explain the entire uh, concept of vector control by uh, generating the real output so that people can visualize what i am learning i am able to implement it otherwise and the things also because i feel that uh, the task of an engineer should be such a way that the they will bring the technology to the the common people for mankind as an affordable manner it should be it should not be so costly and the technology should be free it should be free to everybody uh, you see this for this reason uh, i have seen from my experience from my around 15 years of uh, industrial experience simply uh, they are hiding the things and uh, they are not disclosing the thing to the people and the technology is not coming to the um, people in an affordable manner so this i want to break it so uh, still this uh, concept of uh, uh, microcontroller uh, it's a real actual output generation for power electronics purpose these are the uh, some, uh, something like uh, we are um, lagging so i want to make that things uh, reachable to everybody so for that i am doing this kind of things thank you so much